Never have I been so angry when I've left the game. Never had I ever left a game early. Never had I ever left a game before the full-time whistle. Never have I ever been so embarrassed to support a football club. Never have I ever booed and shouted abuse at a manager or a player. They would have all been before today. I am just embarrassed to have to admit to saying all that. I'm so angry of the... It's proven. Just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And... I, I'm I'm just struggling to put into words what I'm feeling right now. <sighs> Apart from anger and embarrassment, where do we even where do we go? <sighs> I, I I can't I can't go with the excuse of he hasn't got the squad. It doesn't matter. You can't turn out for a performance like that and say, oh, it was because we're missing a couple of players. It wasn't. Or it wasn't just the sole reason. You leave Rondon on for 90 minutes. You take off Gordon, who is arguably our best player in the team. Which, I'll admit, I've, I've had my criticism of him. But he was arguably our best player today. You take off Gray, albeit maybe with a knock. But you bring on Alex Awobi. Who was... Shown in games this season, he hasn't been up to it. For whatever reason, he hasn't played the way it needs to be played this season. And that's on the manager. You've, he left it too late to make these substitutions when we could have chased the game for longer and made a bigger lead. And the biggest thing I have to say is, what the actual fucking hell does he do with set pieces and training? Like, what, what, do they even do anything to practice defending set pieces? The amount of goals we've conceded this season from set pieces, whether it be corners, stupid free kicks, follow-ups from free kicks, just... What what are we doing? What are we doing to allow teams to score? I don't like giving abuse to a team. I don't like calling out players. I don't like calling out managers. But they have to answer for it today. He makes the wrong substitutions. He keeps the wrong players on. And the players that are on have cost us the game horrendously. And I don't, I'm sure Solomon Rondon's a nice guy, but he is genuinely the worst player I think I've ever seen play for Everton. Alex Iwobi, 35 million. Townsend and Gray were 33 million less than him. And have had more goals and more assists combined than he has had for three years. And I'm sorry to call them out. I just, I don't know what on earth we can do. I don't want Benitez there anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Give him abuse in that every game like I did today because I shouldn't have done it. But I can't back him anymore. I'm sorry, but whatever he's doing in training, 
whatever they're doing to try and keep these players fit, when they aren't fit enough, and the what must they be doing in training for us to lose players like Calvert Lewin, Yerry Mina, and Decore? What are they doing? Like, do you know? It wouldn't even surprise me now if Gray goes off with this knock today and he's out for four months. Wouldn't surprise me at all. We just can't seem to field a starting eleven for more than five games. It's the exact same as what happened last season with Ancelotti. We had five games of solid, a solid team. And then we lose it with one or two players getting key, inju key injuries to key players. And we lose it and it just dwindles off. And Benitez has not got the backing of the fans. Or I'll say like quite a few of them. Because and there were hundreds if not thousands of people left at four when we conceded the fourth. Like we conceded five to Watford. And no offence to Watford. But we conceded five to a team that lost five nil last week. What are we doing in training? And I'm not being smug. I'm not being... I don't want to make it look like I'm targeting Benitez. Because there's a lot in that squad that need to have a good, hard look at themselves. If they want to continue playing football. Like, some of them today don't look like they, they play professional football. We barely tested Ben Foster. Barely. It took... It's this reliance on one player in loads of games. QPR, Aston Villa... West Ham, we rely on one player too much in a game plan where the team then just capitulates and then the manager doesn't have anything else to go for. We've lost Calvert-Lewin for games like Aston Villa and West Ham. We lost, we didn't have Gray on the pitch for the likes of the QPR game until he comes on. We didn't have Richarlison on the pitch until he came on. And these are the players that fans are crying out for to have to come on up. We then become too reliant on one player to turn it round for us. It's, it's happened for so long. And it isn't even Benitez and the squad anymore. And I do feel sorry for Benitez in terms of he hasn't had a lot of money to spend. But he doesn't help himself with games like today either. He's had 1.7 million to spend and then Rondon and Lonigan brought in and Begovic brought in as well. And it doesn't doesn't look like he got given a chance in terms of transfers. Fair enough. Like we spunked a load of it up the wall. It was kind. Of, it's it just feels like for so long our transfer policy has been throw as much shit as you can at the wall and see what sticks. And we've been lucky with the likes of say Godfrey last season. And to be fair, I'm not getting on his back because I think he's still recovering from the long COVID symptoms. We've had Dean, who I would argue has been a success, realistically, until this season, where he's just been off, for whatever reason, he's just been off. Uh, Calvert-Lewin, Gay, Richarlison, you could argue Pickford. In fact, no, I would probably say Pickford. There isn't a lot, though. I mean, how much, how much money have we spent... And we're in the position we are in now because we have the money. We just can't sign anyone for financial fair play rules. So I, I just don't. Where on earth can we go from here? You know, the last two results we lost 5 2. The manager was sacked. You know, it was Marco Silva against Liverpool. And Ronald Koeman against Arsenal. And they were the two two managers and, you know, they got sacked because it was poor results. And I don't think Benitez will be sacked, but I can't back him anymore. And it wouldn't... It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of Everton fans didn't back him anymore. And by no means, I, I won't boom. 
like he like I did today, which unfortunately I did, but I can't back him anymore. And I can't back half this squad anymore. Our first eleven on paper could beat fourteen teams in the league. A comfortable fourteen teams in the league I could see us beat. But beyond that, our squad depth is awful. And I've got nothing else to say.